What is going on everybody? My name is Sam and today I'm going to show you how to install the Vane Miner mod for Minecraft 1.10.2 on your Mac. Here we go. So before we install the Vane Miner mod, we need to go through what I like to call the Minecraft mod checklist. Number one, is your Java up to date? Number two, is your library folder present in your user folder? And number three, do you have Forge for Minecraft 1.10.2 installed on your Mac? If you haven't done either one of those three things, please go and watch one of those videos before you proceed watching this video. However, if you have done all three of those things, then we can continue. So the first thing you have to do is click the link in the description below. It will take you to a Curse Forge website. This is where the Vane Miner mod has been uploaded to. Your download links are going to appear right here on the right hand side of the screen under recent files. And since this is a 1.10.2 mod, look under where it says 1.10. Then take your mouse and hover over the mod. We want to install the uh, the release, not the beta, the release of the mod. And as you can see, this mod is compatible with 1.9, 1.9.4, 1.10, and 1.10.2. So this is the mod we want. So again, make sure it says 1.10.2 when you hover over this mod. Once you feel confident that you have found the 1.10.2 mod, click this button right here that says download file. And again, make sure you are on the release version, not the beta version. So here we go. It will say this type of file can harm your computer. Don't worry, it won't do anything. Press keep. And that's it. The jar file has been downloaded. So let's get out of whatever browser you are using and drag your jar file to your desktop. Now open up your finder, click library, application support, scroll down to where it says Minecraft, and then click mods and drag your vainminer.jar file into your mods file. Once you have done that, exit out of your finder and now open up your Minecraft application. Make sure your Forge profile is selected, then press play. Before I create a single player world to demonstrate the mod, let's make sure the mod has installed correctly. Click the mods tab and as you can see, the Vein Miner mod is there. It has installed correctly. If you do not see the Vein Miner mod in your mod list, then you probably did something wrong. So I would highly recommend leaving a comment below telling me what the issue might be and hopefully I can help you out. However, if you can do it on your own, retrace your steps and hopefully you can make it so that way the Vein Miner mod will appear in the mods tab. So let's now create a single player world to try it out. I'm just going to call it Vein Miner and I'm going to make a creative world and here we go. So here I am in my creative world and I am actually in survival because that is the only way to show how this works. I can't really show how it works when, when I'm in creative mode. So if we look here, if you type in slash vein minor C in the chat, I'm just going to do it again just to demonstrate. These are all the commands that you can use to activate or deactivate the mod. So I have mine working whenever my Minecraft character sneaks. And the way you, the way you do that is you type in vein minor C sneak so that way it works when you sneak and it disables whatever your key bind was so now it works when you're sneaking so I have all these sweet looking diamond ores right here and I am just going to put down about this much and then I am going to try and break one when I'm not sneaking as you can see one breaks nothing really happens however when I finally press the shift key to sneak and I go over and hit this all of them break. Overall, it's a very, very cool mod if you want to if you want to make your mining experience more efficient, and of course you want to get more use out of your mining tools. So that everybody is the Vein Miner mod. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.